Hello and welcome back to Memory at Lightning Speed with a permanent memory sphere and power recall. One of the most important steps in memory improvement is simply realizing that some things are easier to remember than others. To discover what they are, you need to test your memory. Use the following experiment to find out the characteristics a piece of information needs to have if it's going to be memorable. Do this without writing anything down. Don't write the words down. Listen to the list of 26 words once. I'm going to read them to you. As soon as the list is finished, you see how many of the words you can write down for memory in any order. Here we go. Shoe. Watch. Flower, Madonna, Chair, Lion, Kettle, Ball, Bulletin Board, Firework, Pencil, Tiger, phone, warm, leopard, hill, time, sharpener, pin, mugger, Jaguar, hat, car, apple, book, kite. Now pause the video and write them down. What's most interesting about this experiment isn't how many words you remember, but which ones. It's possible to predict with surprising accuracy which words most people recall. Book kite, you're likely to have remembered the last two words on the list because there was very little time to forget them. No new words appeared to confuse you, so you were able to carry them in your short-term memory for long enough to write them down. Shoe, watch, perhaps flower, the words from the very start at the list, you're also likely to have stayed with you when the experiment began. Your mind was fresh and alert. You were interested in the sort of words that might be included. And it's likely that you were making a special effort to remember. On the other hand, the words from the middle of the list are a great deal harder to recall. Your interest waves, lessons, your mental energy drops, your concentration wavers, and the whole task just seems to be too difficult and confusing. Lion, tiger, leopard, jaguar. Most people who do this experiment spot the four linked words, the big cats, and remember them all as a group. Perhaps you found this also worked for pencil and sharpener, two words that could link together in your mind. Madonna, when a word stands out from a list of information, it's noticeable and unusual. It's much easier to remember. Firework, being able to picture a word is a vital part of remembering it. In this case, the word also conjures up sounds and smells, making it particularly powerful, especially compared to the abstract words on the list like warm and time. Mugger, this, is, this word is likely to have provoked an emotional response, making it much more memorable than bland words like pin, phone, and hill. From this simple experiment, key factors about memory are revealed. You remember when your mind is alert, 
when you're interested and motivated, especially at the start and at the end of any learning period, when material is patterned and connected, when information is unusual and you can picture what you have to learn, when the information makes you feel something, you forget when you lose interest and motivation, especially in the middle of a learning period, when the material has no shape or connections, when the material information is dull, when it's too difficult to picture the material, when your learning doesn't provoke any emotional response. If you consider these points in terms of your day-to-day -day memory experience, you would see that they make sense. The sort of information you tend to remember is material you're interested in or you're, you're motivated to learn, like statistics about your favorite sport or material to help you make money, songs and tunes and poems connected in memorable patterns and sound or, and rhythm. Story is also based on connection with one item causing the next on the scene to link to the next. Faces, you know you've seen that person before. Unusual events, the days when you did something out of the ordinary. Embarrassing moments, times of happiness, fear, sadness, anger and disgust and surprise. All occasions made memorable by strong emotions. Of course, most information you have to learn doesn't conform to these points. And I look forward to seeing you in the next session. Thank you for watching and listening. I see you in the course. Next click on video 19. See you there. Bye for now.